that they say is 100 times faster than the 5G. So as all these people were out there complaining and talking about 5G, and rightfully so in terms of some of the effects, well, here they have 6G before you can even make it out of 2020, rolling out in China, and you can expect to see this go global. So they launched this satellite along with 13 other satellites, and if you can't tell, it's getting heated when it comes to the space stuff. Subspace, the moon, and beyond. But I just want to let it be known. Everybody keeps trying to live this pipe dream, thinking that the United States is the best at everything and will always be, when apparently it looks like the design downfall of this country is underway. And people just want to keep sticking their head back in the sand. You don't want to hold people accountable. You want someone else to get up and do it while you cheer them on. That's all I've seen this whole time, and that's why we're in the position that we're in. If you really want change, you're going to have to be the change that you seek and get out there and bring it. But in the meantime, this is what we're going to have to deal with. China leaving us in the dust, making leaps and bounds, and will the leadership do anything about that? Try to position us back into a spot where we are a powerhouse? Well... It looks like the days of America's power are dwindling, and it's all by design on this world stage. His future, winning the race to be the world's leading provider of 5G cellular communications networks. It's all about 5G now. We were 4G, and everybody would say, we have to get 4G. And then they said, before that, we have to get 3G. And now we have to get 5G, and 5G is a big deal, and that's going to be there for a while. And I guess uh, at some point we'll be talking to you about number six. What do you think? Do you think that's true? <laughs> but right now we want to be the leader in this. We're the leader in almost everything else. All right, Shalom. This is Har One by Nyasha Allah of the Lions Den Camp. I want to say Ka Halayim La Yahawa, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Harakakwadash, Ma'ama. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and the elders. Shalom to you, Akim, and Agwathim, and children that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. Um, yeah, you saw Trump talking about uh, 6G, and uh, the, the first video was speaking about um, China, uh, how they're rolling out their 6G technology uh, early, and they're putting satellites um, uh, out in uh, or orbit. All right. Now, um, they have something out there that they're planning called Space Wars. All right. They said that's a domain of war. And really, it's in preparation to go to war for these heathens to go to war against Yahweh Shai and his angels, and which um, uh, uh, these heathens are going to lose completely. But they have this thing out there where they have the satellites with arms on them. Sort of like rock and sock and robot. And they'll move it through the orbit and their arm will reach out and it'll push the US or Russia, you know, whoever's satellite out of orbit. All right, so that's what they're planning on. But the 6G technology, that's the, that's the one they need for the chip. All right, 5G, but 6G is the one they need for, um, for the chip, for the signals to be read, for them to have fast. Uh, Interfaces, you know, where information is sent, sent and received quick. All right, so the signals could reach further, and the satellites will reach all over the earth to those chips, the microchips. All right, so that, that's what this is really all about. Six G, that and it goes back to Revelation thirteen, that number was six six six. All right, and that's all you've been hearing all year this year with uh, Bill Gates. What well, he signed into place, it was 060606, dealing with the vaccine, the COVID uh, confirmation of verification ID 19 that he copy wrote under his company with Microsoft. You know, so uh, they have a bill in place um, with the numbers uh, 666 on it, dealing with the vaccine. All right. And if you look at the, the number 666 in the Greek, is Chi Psi Stigma, which represents, um, Chi represents the actual blockchain technology or the ledger, you know, the technology that, um, 
uh, what would the word be? The interface, right? The technology. And then you have uh, um, a psi and stigma. A psi will represent the actual chip. All right. So a chi will represent what? The satellite, 6G, 5G, or whatever. That's what that represents, man. You know, chi, psi would represent um, the chip itself, the microchip or the RFID chip or whatever type of chip they're going to use. And then um, stigma represents the cut or incision into the hand, into the body. All right. So this is all prophecy right here, man. But you hear Trump was talking about it. You know, we still got 76 more days with this dude. He can do a lot. He can push out 6G in, in, in the race with China. He he may uh concede his his position, you know, and just um hand over everything to Biden and say, hey, he's doing it for the country, make himself look proud again. Or he may you know, either way America's gonna push that six G, but it's clear that China's taking the forefront, you know, in, in their technology and their economy, you know, and um, their their stance and their position in this new world order that's being developed right for our eyes, of which the Lord is not gonna let them complete. But this is Psalms 10 and two. See, all of their hopes, all their imaginations, all their devices, everything they're conjuring up is all wicked, man. 6G, everything they're trying to do, the vaccines, um, uh, biotechnology, biometric technology, all right, austerity measures, you know, um, putting brain chips in people now. So all of this is steering towards um, their imaginations. This is Psalms 10 and 2. The wicked in his pride do persecute the poor. And that's what all Trump did was persecuting the poor, the, the uh, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans when he was while he was in office. And that's all Esau has been known for. So it ain't going to be no different with Biden. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. All right. So they're going to be taken by it. everything that they imagine. It's going to be a trap unto themselves. Everything that they imagine to inflict or to enforce or to impose on the poor. Right. These rich corporations, these are this technology they're creating and shit and pushing it on the poor people. So for control, you know, and they're pagan control. He said, what? Let them be taken in it. So it's going to be their demise. When you, that's what the scripture said. The destruction of the poor is their poverty. All right. For the wicked boasteth of his heart's desire. See, he boasting 6G. <laughs> uh, the wicked boasts of his heart's desire and blesses the covetous whom Yahweh abhorreth. All right. Handing out money and trick bags to all these congressmen wolves wolves in sheep's clothing to where the, the wolf the wolf gets pampered for being a wolf you know that's how they roll so i saw one video trump was sitting down just signing papers man like hey all these different firemen and military people was coming up you know eat basically edomites and he was like just signing his name on shit and handing it out to him like huh Put that on the stock market. That'd be worth ten thousand dollars tonight. Hey, you. Here you go. It's nothing. Um, put that on the stock market. It's ten thousand dollars tonight. Hey, sign this. Boom. He was just signing paper, signing it, all kinds of shit. Put that on the stock market. All right. So they blessed the covetous. They blessed their own um, people, man. So, so it says, "For he they boasted of their heart's desire." And one of their heart's desire is to get um, 6G and get everybody microchipped. This is Genesis 6 and 5, all right? And this has been happening since the beginning of time. And it's still happening. You know, anything that comes from the imagination or dreams or hopes of man is vain if they don't have the understanding or the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh or guidance, guidance. A visitation from the Lord. If they don't have any of that, all of their hopes, their dreams, their creations are vanity. You have to understand that. 
So anything that Esau is bringing up, it's all vanity. Even their weapons, even their their um their plans for six G technology and all this shit with chips. You know, that's that's all go. It all goes against Yahweh's creations, their nature, the mind. You know, free free uh, free thinking. You know, to have your own personal thoughts, but they're trying to what creep. Uh, crack open those thoughts and take away your privacy, you know, because they want full control. But this is 6G, uh, 6G, Genesis 6, number five. And Yahweh saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth. And now we're at that time again to where the wickedness of man has reached proportionate levels. All right. Um, and there, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. All right, so it's, it's only evil continually. All the imaginations of their heart is all evil. It's all bad. Six G is bad. <laughs> all right, and that's what they're rolling out these damn Moabites too, the Chinese. That's why the Lord got a, a destruction coming for them as well. Moab. That want to be like uh, Babylon and has, has surpassed Babylon, America. All right. The Lord said he got a judgment for them as well. All right. So this is Psalms 10 and 5. His ways are always grievous. That's why the Lord said, choose none of the none of the wicked uh, ways. And their ways are always grievous. Everything they do. The scriptures say they enlarge their desire, their desires as hell. And is as death. All right. So everything they do is grievous. All right. They, thy judgments are far above out of his sights. So Esau cannot see or understand the Lord's will. All right. Um, as for all his enemies, he puffeth at them. And who's one of the enemies of, of Esau? People like Trump. Um, these Chinese, the Moabites, that that rolled out their six G, and what did, what did Esau do? He puff at him, flag his hand. That's what it means. Ah, uh, whatever, Psh, whatever. That's pride. <laughs> That's pride when they lose in the battle, but they still got that heart of Rocky. And we're like, I ain't going down, you know. Uh, um. It says, as for all his enemies, he puffeth at them when when they really when uh, they're really losing the battle. He have said in his heart, I shall not be moved for I shall never be in adversity. So that's, what, that's the way they think. That's what pride leads them to. That's why the scriptures say uh, pride cometh before fall. All right. Haughty spirit before destruction. All right, so now um, all the promises he was making, now he's wrestling with his with his power seat, whether he's going to be president or not. He got to take it to the Supreme Court, and so on and so on. And then you got the Democrats pre uh, celebrating prematurely. All right, so his mouth is it says he have said in his heart. So in their own, own mind, he has said this: I shall not be moved. For I shall never be in adversity. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. So I, maybe we should go, you know, you hear, hear him talking, man. You got to listen to Trump. He's real slick and creepy by Creepy Joe. Um, first thing he said, uh, he, said, he said, yeah, first they wanted 4G. Now they want 5G. And next they wanted 3G. I was like, no, that's backwards, man. He's like, so now he said, like, now I guess we'll go to 6G. <laughs> like it's like it's nothing. Dude's crazy, man. All right, so it's full of vanity. Okay. So everything they do is nothing but vanity. All right, so rock 34 and 1. Now this is going into dreams, how people use dreams to win money or lottery, or they come out and say, I had a dream like Martin Luther King. Martin Lucifer King, or well, a lot of people that claim to be um, 
uh, Israelites. They said, I had a dream, man. We put the dream out there. Well, if it's not a vision from the Lord, then it's nothing but vanity. And it can be deception. All right. So now I want to talk about the American dream. <laughs> All right. The mind and hopes and imaginations of Esau that's been um, founded in this place called America or Babylon. It's built upon vanity. It says, uh, and hopes of the wicked. It's a rock 34 and 1. So them trying to get this 6G technology, it's only a competitive thing to where they're trying to outdo China. They don't, they're not doing it because they care about the people. You can have a faster phone service. It ain't about that. Like the phone's not fast enough already. Sirach 34 and 1. The hopes of a man void of understanding. So you got to have understanding. All right. And, and other than that, they're just like the men, the people in the garden during the time of Adam. They had no understanding. That's why he gave Adam understanding. All right. Um, <clears throat> the hopes of a man void of understanding are vain. See, everything that they hope for if it doesn't pertain to the will and understanding of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, it's vanity. And dreams lift up fools. Okay? So all the hopes of man void, void of understanding are vain and false. I'm going to read this real quick. I'm going to end it here. This is just a quick lesson real fast. Job 5 and 12. He disappointed the devices of the crafty. All right, so all their witchcraft that they're trying to push out there. That's all it is. Technology is nothing but a craft formed within good or bad intentions. You know, a craft formed by the hands. And they're using it as uh, craftiness, which is uh, leading towards wickedness. Well, is wickedness, man. All right. But if I sit here and I craft an object, I wouldn't use it for wickedness. They're trying to come up with 6G. Because they're playing God. They think they're God, man. You know, and um, he disappointed the devices of the crafty. And devices represent their imaginations, all the technology and shit, and their new world order and their hopes and dreams for the future so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. All right. So they're not going to build complete all of their plans for world domination and destruction and depopulation and control. Verse 13, he take up the wise and their own craftiness. So like I said before in the beginning, they're gonna they're gonna be taken in the devices that they have imagined. All right, by them pushing for this, they're gonna fall off the hill themselves, trying to push the boulder over the edge onto the the weak sheep at the bottom, they're gonna fall off themselves. All right. He that taketh, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. And the counsel of the froward is carried headlong. Okay, so these heathens are going to be what? Led into their own ditch. That they have, man, we get there. All right, this is Esau. This is Trump. This, <laughs> and all these rich elites, um, heathens, you know, Moab or Esau, whomever. These government officials. That's coming up with all these imaginations and pushing the agenda of Esau in general, you know, NATO, EU, and America. It says, Psalm 7 and 13. He have also, well, I'll start from uh, uh, 15. He made a pit and digged it. See, they're setting this up. They're setting a table. And they they um they made a pit and digged it, man. They got everything ready. The new world order, the trap is set. All, right, all their imaginations, their ideas. He made a pit and digged it, and it's fallen into the ditch which he made. So them chasing after their greed, their greed is going to be their destruction. You know, that's like that lion that see that piece of meat inside the trap, and they're going to go for it. Because of that greed, because of that pride of the lion, right? And scriptures say Esau is as a, as a, or the devil is a lurking, as a lion, 
lurketh around the whole earth, seeking whom he may devour. That's spiritual and physical. All right. But through that trying to devour, that greed is going to get them destroyed as well. Creating all this all this um, technology, talking about taking over the world and pushing their pagan agenda, oppressing the people, depopulation. That's going to bring judgment unto themselves. The Lord is going to judge them for that. All right? Manifesting that they are the wicked. We're in the time of um, the mystery of iniquity being revealed. But they have to do wicked things to be revealed. And this is one of them. Pushing their ideas and their ideologies and their agendas. And their, you know, and their um, craftiness. So they're making their pit and they dig it. And it's fallen into the ditch with they, which they made. Uh, their mischiefs shall return upon their own head. And their violent dealing shall come down upon their own pate, man. All right. So with that, man, so all that they're planning, their devices, is all going to fall, as um, show up as a dis destruction unto themselves. And everything that they hope for is going to show up as vanity for themselves. And everything that they, um, statement they make is going to be declared as hypocrisy and lies because they are the father of lies, especially Trump. All right. And these uh, Edomites. So with that, I'm going to end it there, man. So they're getting ready for this 6G technology. Um, the 5G is just a stepping stone. And they're aiming for 6G. All right, tied it into the mark of the beast. Um, and China just rolled out theirs today. So, hey, man, this month, this, this we got two more months. Or oh, the end of November and December. You know, in January. And that's when Trump got to concede or not. So a lot could happen within um, 75 days. So with that, I'm going to say uh, Shalom.